Welcome to the oil industry news for November 22nd, 2022. In the United States, crude oil is currently selling for $81 per barrel. Natural gas is holding steady at over $6 per MMBTU and North Sea Brent crude is around $89 a barrel. Last week, the U.S. rig count came in at 782 actively drilling oil and gas rigs. So that's up slightly. All right, before we get into the news, I want to talk a little bit about horizontal shale drilling and fracking in the northeast, Louisiana, northeast part of the United States. This is a map of the New York, Pennsylvania state line area with the horizontal frack wells shown to, in red and blue and gray in Pennsylvania and the rig locations are shown in black. So everybody knows that New York has banned fracking. And that's why there aren't that many horizontal shale wells shown in New York. But that's not exactly true. We recently did a project in New York where we were looking at conventional drilling that would require some small fracks for the wells. And so New York has not banned all fracking, just on the high volume 300,000 pounds of propping and greater. So, so that eliminates the horizontal shale wells, which use millions of pounds of propping. So you can frack in New York, but you can't drill the long shale wells that require millions of pounds of propping. So in, in effect, they are banning the high development. But so you can see that Pennsylvania is developing their res gas resources with many wells and many rigs and supplying the country in the Northeast with gas that's desperately needed. So maybe uh, they're doing it safely. So maybe New York can lift the ban on high volume fracks and let, let's get the gas out so we can supply the country for the winter with the heating. All right, so some good news. Uh, we have an article about Equinor uh, that, and their partners are gonna develop a large Arctic gas discovery called ERPA. This field was discovered in 2009 and now they've went ahead and made the investment decision to spend 1.4 billion to develop the field and get the gas flowing by late 2026. So that's good news. That'll provide natural gas for heating and other things for Europe. All right, there's been some talk about a windfall profits tax on oil in the United States. And so this article talks about that and there's a very low chance that that would pass the uh, US Congress. But anyway, any just talking about it uh, damages the oil industry because it makes all companies reluctant to invest a lot of money to develop new oil and gas resources if they're going to be taxed at a higher rate. So even just talking about a windfall profits tax is not helpful for the industry. All right. Some other news out of Europe. Uh, Europe is supplied with diesel from Russia and it's very important for their transportation and powering their economy. And so there are going to be some bans on Russian diesel, but or embargoes, but that hasn't been in effect yet. So the European countries are racing to stock up on diesel oil, diesel fuel. So that's that's important to keep their economies going. All right, so we know that the oil and gas industry is very important in the United States and around the world. So we need to support the oil and gas industry because it provides for all other industries the energy that's needed to give us a modern and safe and healthy lifestyle. So thanks.